Shalom. July 14th, 2023. I'm just going to read a few scriptures out loud this morning to start my day. Amen. Feels like revival is in the beginning. Zion shall be saved in the judgment. There's going to be salvation and there's going to be judgment at the same time. Zion shall be saved in the judgment. Her repentant ones in the retribution. Her repentant ones, the remnant with the humble heart in the retribution. But the rebels and the sinners shall be crushed, and those who forsake God shall, shall perish. Zion shall be saved, but those who forsake God shall, be, shall perish in this judgment and retribution. Come and let us reach an understanding, says God. Be your sins like crimson red, they can turn snow white. Be they red as dyed wool, they can become like fleece, white as snow. Assuredly, this is a declaration of the sovereign God of hosts, the mighty one of Israel. Ah, I will get satisfaction from my foes, and I will wreak vengeance on my enemies, says the Lord. Assuredly, this is the word of the Lord. He will get vengeance on his enemies, and I will turn my hand against them and smelt them like dross and remove all their slag, and I'll restore your magistrates of old and your counselors of yore. After that, you shall be called city of righteousness and faithful city. Zion shall be saved in the judgment, her repentant ones in the retribution. But the rebels and sinners shall be crushed, and those who forsake God shall perish. Your land is a waste, and your cities are burnt down. Before your eyes, the yield of your soil is consumed by strangers, a wasteland as overthrown by strangers. Fair Zion is left like a booth in a vineyard, like a hut in a cucumber field, like a city beleaguered. Had not God of hosts left us some survivors, we would have been like Sodom and Gomorrah, Hear the word of the Lord, you chieftains of Sodom. Give ear to our God's instructions, you folk of Gomorrah. God says the land is like Sodom and Gomorrah. They're legislating perversion. What need have I of all your sacrifices? That you come before me and trample my courts. Your oblations are futile. Your incense is offensive to me. I cannot abide it anymore, says God. I cannot endure it. I will turn my eyes away from you. Wash yourselves clean and put your evil away from my sight and cease to do evil. Learn to do good and devote yourselves to justice. Aid the wrong and uphold the rights of the orphan in the cause of the widow. Come and reach an understanding with me, says God. Though your sins be like crimson, they can turn white as snow. If you'll agree to give heed, you will eat the good things of the earth. But if you refuse and disobey, you shall be devoured by the sword. For it was God who spoke. Alas, she has become a whore, the faithful city that was filled with justice, where righteousness dwelt, but now murderers dwell. Your silver has turned to dross, and your wine is cut with water, and your land is waste, and your city is burnt down before your eyes by strangers and illegals. Assuredly, this is the declaration of the sovereign God of hosts. I will get my satisfaction from my foes, and I will wreak vengeance on my enemies, says the Lord. Your rulers, your rulers and governments are rogues, 
and cronies of thieves, every one avid for gifts and presents because of their greed, and they do not judge the case of the orphan. This is Isaiah 1, chapter 1, verse 23. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3, Your rulers and ro are rogues. Your rulers are rogues and cronies of thieves, everyone avid for presents and greedy for gifts. They do not judge the case of the orphan or the widow. They never hear them. They traffic them. Release your Holy Spirit in time revival, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Man, hallelujah.